activist and change maker DeAndre Wilson joins us again this morning. And today we start with a new honor to add to your already impressive resume. I saw this on Facebook and I see that you have received an honor from your school. Yeah, Ivy Tech. Yes. Uh, distinguished uh, alumni. Uh, yesterday was a surprise. I was eating lunch and they presented that award to me and it was just a shocker. So uh, it's always good to have your alma mater, you know, celebrate you all the time. So thanks again to Ivy Tech for that. I appreciate it. Well, that had to be a very nice surprise. There we go. We can see it, it was. now. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, yeah. DeAndre, you've been on the show several times and we've talked about the many uh issues you're involved with, many activities that you support and actually drive. And I wanted to talk to you a bit today about, since it's Black History Month, where you, you think we are in, in helping our community understand the importance of the black story as it relates to us locally. Yeah, so Ainge, let me, let me say that there's a lot of work that still needs to be done. Right. Um, and I can tell you over the course of my journey, um, I am tired. Uh, I, I still keep up the good fight, no doubt. You see it in my work. But I've chosen to redirect my energy because it is frustrating to try to communicate the needs that are so very important to the black community and it's just not being heard. And quite frankly, not even being taken uh, seriously like it should be. And so I've decided to just lead by example um, and rally those who care and want to support and want to see things change and get done and work with them. Because I think that's where we're going to be headed towards, you know, for, you know, for the future. But I spend so many times uh, you know, in, in, in white spaces and in these decision-making tables. And I feel like I'm just running around in a circle with my head cut off. So there is so much work to be done. Um, I, I challenge individuals who, who don't live in TP Park and on Southside Evans. I challenge them to come be in the space. Come, you know, roll the tire with me, as cool as it is. Uh -huh. Come be in the space. Come be on that side of town with people and connect with people in the neighborhood. And then you'll see firsthand. So, uh, yeah, come, come to TP Park and just be in the space with people. But like I said, Angie, there's a lot of work that needs to be done. Where do you look to locally or even in the, in the state where you see some real positive activity on this topic? Yeah, so, um, you know, I have mentors, I have books that I read um, that keep me going, keep me motivated. I know that change starts with me as an individual. And so I, it's motivating and encouraging to me to get to get up every day, get the tire and, and, and continue that community work that I do. So that's what helps me. That It has to start with me as an individual. Um, like I said, there are some great... Um, role models and mentors that I have in, in Evansville that are doing the same thing. So I lean on them to help me. Well, that's so important to have that support group. And DeAndre, I just wanted to have you on again on the show because I love all the things you're doing. But to be able yeah. to say to my audience how much I admire you and how much you have inspired me uh, throughout these past few years, I thank you for what well, you thank do. thank you, Angie. Thank you for yes. keeping on. I appreciate it. Definitely. Appreciate it. We'll talk to you soon. Take care. Hey, see you soon. Thank you. We'll be back with more local lifestyles right after this. Stay with us.